I'm playing Tarzan today because in this jungle is a fruit that I have waited five years to harvest. So right here is a plant that a lot of people who may have lived through the 70s know as probably one of the most popular houseplants of the time. And it's actually making a big comeback. It's the, what most people call the Swiss cheese plant because of the holes. Uh, it's actually the Monstera deliciosa. It's a tropical plant that most people grow as house plants. Here we can grow it outside. And it's been growing here in several places throughout the uh, garden for about five years. And while a lot of people grow it as an ornamental plant, it does produce fruit given the right circumstances. Now this particular one is the only one that has produced a fruit. And I think the reason why is because right back behind me is the stream that leads to the waterfall. And a few months ago, I noticed the waterfall had stopped flowing as forcefully as it normally does. And I went and looked and what this plant does is produce aerial roots and they go and they search out moisture and it found the stream and it planted itself in the stream bed and grew a whole root mass. So it was drinking as much water as it needed. And I think that's probably why out of all the Monstera Deliciosa here, this is the one that produced the fruit. So I know now for the future, I need to water the others more. Now, if you follow me on Instagram, and if you don't, you should. Uh, about a year ago, February, I posted a picture of the first bud that this plant has had ever put on um, and it flowered and it became a fruit now i'm going to show you the fruit now it really didn't grow that much over the last i don't know nine ten months and then all of a sudden within the last 30 days it started to fatten up so i knew something was happening now you know when it's ripe and ready to pick because the scales that are covering the entire fruit toward the bottom where it's hooked onto the plant, they start to get loose and even start to fall off. And that's when you know it's time to pick it. So I'm gonna do it. So as I picked it, some scales fell off the bottom. So let me come in here a little closer and show you. So you can see these fruit, these, these scales just fall right off and reveal the flesh underneath that is ripe. Now, so what I have been learning through my research is that you lay this on a plate or something in your house and every day or so, another inch will ripen. And I can see that this is actually, and I've also heard that if you eat these coverings, these little scales, they're super hot, spicy, and your mouth will burn for like three hours. So I don't really want that. Wow, this is actually more of this ready than I thought. Now, I have been told that this fruit tastes like a cross between a banana, a strawberry, and a pineapple. And it actually smells, I smell the pineapple and I smell the banana. Okay, I'm gonna taste it now. This is so exciting, you have no idea. <laughs> Just keep coming off. Are you gonna taste it too, Emily? <laughs> She's afraid. Yes, it is an untraditional fruit, to be sure. Okay, here I go. I'm gonna eat this part right here. Let's see, can you see this? All right, here we go. Oh. Oh. Uh, I have to say, <laughs> okay. I'm not being dramatic. That's probably one of the most delicious fruits I've ever eaten. Please try it. Try it. Wow. She's not even a fruit person. Is that pretty good? What do you, what do you think it reminds you of? Kind of like a cherimoya, but sweeter. If you've ever had a cherimoya really before. Sweet. Wow, I only have one of these. So here's the thing, I gotta get more and I gotta water them better and then I'll have a whole bunch of these to eat. If you have a greenhouse, 
um, or live in a tropical climate, subtropical climate, where you have mild winters, just get one of these house plants. I'm just, I, I'm, I'm so excited and so sad at the same time that I only have one fruit to enjoy. Um, I will be eating all of this. I did promise Noah I'd save him a bite, so I can't eat all of it. We'll see. See you guys next time.